I'm making the potato chip omelet today, and this comes from a series on Hulu called The Bear. Maybe you've seen it. They did three things on the show, making the omelet that I thought were really different and unique, and which you may not have ever tried. I know I hadn't, so I tried it, and the omelet was fantastic. It's just creamy and just delicious and crunchy and just has all the elements that are just fantastic. I can't say enough about it. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm going to show you how to do it and all the tips and tricks right after my chef joke. Do egg jokes crack you up or do you want to scramble away? I'm going to let you think about it. Okay, so before I start, I just want to mention that I'm going to be making a French omelet as opposed to a regular American omelet like this one here. The American omelet has a browned, almost crispy exterior, while the French omelet it has a pale yellow, soft and tender exterior and is a bit more challenging to make. Now, of course, I'm making this like the omelet on the bear. But I'm also adding my own healthy changes, which I'll point out as we go. One of the things that they did that was unusual, to me anyway, in making the omelet on the bear was they strained the eggs. So place your eggs, crack each one, and you put them in a strainer, and we're going to strain out all the thick stuff that you really don't want in your eggs. This is going to make the texture of the omelet very smooth. I'll add a pinch of salt, and when I'm in my garlic mood, I like to add a sprinkle of garlic powder as well. Don't forget you can find the written recipe below the video in the description area. And of course, we'll give that another little mix. I also want to mention you'll want to use three, maybe four eggs for an eight inch nonstick pan. Otherwise, your egg mixture won't have enough volume to cook properly. Here's the second thing they did on the bear that I thought was a little bit unusual. They used borson garlic and herb cheese which really takes this omelet over the top, in my opinion. It's easy to place this in a small Ziploc bag and then just cut off the tip and you can use this like a piping bag. Make sure to leave the cheese out in the bag on the counter for about 20 minutes before you start making the omelet. This will make it way easier to squeeze it out of the bag and it will warm up the cheese so it's not cold. So we're gonna heat our pan over medium low heat then I'm going to drop in a little bit of butter and some olive oil. I like cutting back on the saturated fat a bit, so what they use is just all butter. And you can do that if you choose. As you can see here, the butter is melting nicely and it's bubbling up, and so we're about ready to add those eggs. Once you get them in the pan, you're going to want to keep them moving. You want small little curds of eggs. So just keep the pan moving and stir them until they start to, you know, solidify a little bit. And take your spatula and go around the ends every once in a while. You want these to cook on the slower side and if you need to just lift that pan right off the stove, right off the heat. Once it's not so liquidy, as you see here, then now I'm going to add that cheese. And it comes out of that bag pretty evenly. Now take your spatula and gently roll the egg right on over. Now I'm no expert at this, and you know, it takes a lot of practice, but you know, you do the best you can. The end result is still going to taste mighty fine, even though it might not look as pretty as I'd like it to. Once you get it rolled over, then you're going to pour it right onto your plate, hopefully with the seam side down. Mine ended up on the side, but hey, you know, it still works. Then you're going to take a pat of butter and you're going to rub it. You're going to give it a nice little coating. It'll shine it up and we're going to add a little bit of seasonings to it. For seasonings, we're going to keep it simple. I've got some fresh chives here. Dried also work in a pinch. And then we'll cut off a little bit here and then we'll just chop up a little bit and it just adds a nice touch, not to mention color. We'll sprinkle those on and then we get to the very last thing, which is our potato chips. I'm using Siete brand and can you guess why? Well, I'm going to show you. Let's look at the ingredients. They are potatoes, avocado oil, and sea salt. It doesn't get any cleaner than that. So you take a small handful and you just crunch them over the top of that omelet. They add such a nice crunch to this omelet. Everything is creamy and just tender and delicious and that crunch just finishes it off. Now if you want to use regular potato chips, sour cream and onion would work as well. That's what they used on the bear. 
But let's cut into this and have a look at this. The cheese is just oozing out of it. It's delicious. Believe me when I tell you, you'll be making this more than once. And let me know down in the comments if you're going to give this a try. If you want to try the version of this on the bear, I'll put a link for you in the description. Check it out. Hey, if you need a side dish for dinner, well, check out my spaghetti squash cheese bake surprise. Click the link on the screen and it'll take you right to the recipe. Thanks for scrambling some eggs with me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know by smashing the like button and leave me a comment. Let me know if you have any recipe requests. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe.